Replacing fluid reservoir bottles on my tech saws. Only use ink specified for your saw. Other ink, including ink used on other MyTech equipment, will destroy the printhead and result in costly repairs. For the best results, replace the ink and cleaner bottles before they are completely empty. If they run completely out of fluid, you must flush the printhead. For the Cyber and Cyber AT saws, replace a fluid bottle when the fluid falls out of sight. For the blade saws, replace a fluid bottle when there is about one half inch of fluid left in the bottle. Supplies needed are gloves, goggles, scissors or knife, new ink or cleaner bottle, rags. For the blade saw, push in on an e-stop. Do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the machine's main electrical panel. Push in on the yellow slide lever on the machine's main air pressure regulator and do a proper lockout tagout procedure on it. Open the two bottom doors below the saw chamber. Shake the ink bottle vigorously. Look at the air pressure gauge closest to the bottles and make sure it reads zero pressure. Remove the lid from the new bottle you are replacing. With the knife or scissors, cut a small X opening in the foil on the top of the bottle. Do not break the foil seal from the edge of the bottle. Pull out the bottle you are replacing and remove the filter and lid from the empty bottle. And screw it onto the new bottle and put it back in the rack. Remove the guard covering the top clamp assembly and save the hardware for reuse. Here is the general location of the purge valves. Reverse the lockout tagout procedure on the main air pressure regulator. Use the purge valves from each of the printheads your machine has. Placing the hose in the empty container you just removed and pull back on the front of the purge valve until a steady flow of ink comes out. Put the lid on the old bottle once you are done with all the purge valves your machine has. For the blade and Cyber or Cyber AT saws, the ink filter assembly consisting of cap, pickup tube, and filter should be replaced at least once a month due to the working environment it operates in. The cleaner filter assembly consisting of cap, pickup tube, and filter replace every two to three months. Refer to Blade Parts Guide online for the correct part number to order for either of the saws. For the Cyber and Cyber AT saws, turn off the compressor on the printing system before attempting to loosen a reservoir lid. Shake the ink bottle vigorously. Look at the air pressure gauge to the bottles and make sure it reads zero pressure. Remove the lid from the new bottle you are replacing. With the knife or scissors, cut a small opening in the foil on the top of the bottle. Pull out the bottle you are replacing and remove the filter and lid from the empty bottle and screw it onto the new bottle. Put it back in the rack. Use the purge valve the same way as explained earlier to make sure all the air is out of the line. Discard old ink and reservoir bottles according to government specifications.